Okay guys, so today we're going to be rehandling this chef's knife here. Um, these rivets have just kind of corroded as unfortunately this has been in the dishwasher which is not meant to be. Um, and the plastic handle scales uh, just fell off. So I have this piece of New Guinea rosewood here that I've been just keeping around. It's got quite nice figure in it as well. Uh, three quarters inch thick which should be plenty, I'd say. Um, I was originally gonna cut out two scales from this and then glue that, but I think that's a bit overkill because when I line this up, that should be all right, just like that. So what I'm gonna do now, I've already uh, cut through the length of it here, but now I'm gonna, using my Japanese crosscut saw, which I know is not what it's meant to be used for. This is a rip cut, but I thought the thin blade is um, important, so I have as least waste as possible. I'm gonna rip down the center of this. So I've got the two scales there, and I'm gonna come back with my rip saw and rip those two out. So I'll see you on the flip side. Hey guys, so this is where I am at the moment. Um, unfortunately I couldn't cut all the way through the piece while it was still on the uh, big block because of just how it was. So I cut this piece off and then I'm gonna uh, finish cutting this just the best way that I can. It's probably cut diagonally through there uh, the majority of the way so it shouldn't take long. Um, and I'll get back to you. So here I am, I've got both scales cut out here. Um, I'm gonna lay it so that the planed faces are, are in contact with the steel just because I know that they're dead flat. Uh, and then the cut, even though the cut's very smooth still from the Japanese saw, um, it's not exactly flat. So next thing for me to do will be to drill out the remnants of uh, the studs. Um, to make way for the size of uh, studs that I'm using. So see you then. Okay guys, so sorry, I just forgot. Um, I actually just tempered back the handle of the knife because um, even though that can be a fairly common practice in blacksmith and bladesmithing, um, mass produced knives like this will, um, as it is still often in you know, blacksmithing and that the whole entire knife is heat treated. Um, and from experience of doing this before and breaking many drill bits, um, these holes up here, um, I have to drill out for a slightly bigger um, brass rod that I'm going to be using here. Um, so I needed to temper back, just use this simple propane, butane, uh, blowtorch there just to I start up the top here, bring it back and brought it back to like a dull red just to uh, fully anneal that. Um, I just had it clamped in the vise with a wet rag wrapped around the blade and I have it oriented uh, this way so that the heat will run up towards the handle rather than the other way that it would run towards the blade and risk the blade being um, untempered. So, unfortunately I couldn't catch me doing that. It wasn't that exciting though. Um, so I'm just letting this cool off nice and slowly now. Um, and then I'll head over and drill these holes out, um, ready for the marking out of the scales. <laughs>
there you go guys. Focus, if it focuses. It's, it's alright I think. Okay. Will that focus? Will it focus? Yeah. There you go. So I think I'm happy with that. Quite nice. Um, one of the hard things about this knife in particular, I'm not sure if you can see, but the bolster here, it's actually kind of um, curved out, carved out like that type of thing on both sides. Um, so then that means that I have to slightly kind of round the end of it, but um, yeah, so I think I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to continue with the second scale. So see you then. Okay, so I've finished the second scale there, and these are the results. So that's, I think that's pretty good. It's hard, it's not focusing very well. There it is. Oh, there you go. And there might be small hairline cracks a bit. That was a worse gap just there on the left. Um, but... I don't know, it was hard with that little round on the bolster there. Um, like, also, I'm not too worried about it necessarily falling off. Like, I'm going to have three brass pins through it, uh, and I'm going to epoxy them on as well. So, um, it should be a pretty cool looking knife handle after it's all finished. Um, so, now what I'll do is I have to mark out the uh, places for the holes on the scales. Um, I'm going to drill them, uh, so then it's basically glue up time after that, which is good. Just about ready to be glued up. Fits very nicely. Loving that look of the brass and the colour of the rosewood there. It's really nice. Um, just before I glue it up, I might just get the rough shape of these scales done. Just, you know, saw them off a little bit. Get a rough shape there. Um, trim the excess off of these. 
Um, and yeah, next thing is to glue and epoxy this together. See you then. Okay guys, so I'm back here. I've got everything set up. I cut the knife scales down to size a bit. Uh, Deburred the holes. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just using some acetone and a small rag, just make sure I thoroughly degrease all the gluing surfaces as best as possible um, to ensure a good strong connection there. Um, so I'll do that now and then also got some epoxy here. This is unfortunately just five minute epoxy, but that's all I had. It's also a little bit old, but hopefully it should work. So cross our fingers for that. Um, also make sure to degrease the brass pins as well. That's important. I'm just going to be using off cut kind of like toothpick, um, uh, to move the epoxy around there. Um, so that's all good and let's get into it. Sorry guys, I just had to go get some gloves to put on my hands just so I don't contaminate the pieces and also so I don't get all the epoxy on my hands and make a big mess. So here you go, everything's clean and I'm gonna go glue the pieces right now.
Okay guys, so unfortunately that didn't work exactly how I wanted it to. Um, the epoxy I'm using is 5 minute epoxy, which wouldn't be exactly what I would want to use, but that's all I had. Um, and I guess it is also quite a hot day today. Um, and what happened was basically just that the epoxy set before I could finish getting the second half on there. Um, but I think hopefully I can still mix up another batch to put the other scale on. Uh, I am a bit concerned about the cohesion between the glue and the scales. Um, around the back here as well, I, since I didn't get the clamps on quite quick enough, probably and maybe a little bit of delamination. Um, but I think I should be able to work with it. It should hold, um, hopefully. So... That's okay.